Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Sam from My Ethical Edit and today's video is going to be all about how you can have a sustainable period. So I've tried my fair share of sustainable period products and so I thought I'd kind of walk you guys through the ones that I've tried and just give my honest opinion. I do want to be as real with you guys as possible but also take note that it may not work for me, but it might work for you. So if you didn't know already, period products are mostly plastic, at least conventional pads and tampons that you guys can get at the pharmacy, which is extremely hard for our environment because it doesn't biodegrade easily. It takes up to 200 years. So a couple of years ago, when I began my sustainability journey, I wanted to be more sustainable when it came to my period because obviously we use a lot of period products as women. So the first thing that I ever did was I went to the pharmacy and just got the more eco-friendly version of what I would use whenever I had my cycle. So I got the eco-friendly versions of pads and tampons. To be honest, that is a much better step that you can take if you want to be more sustainable, but there are a lot more better options out there these days. The first product that I want to share with you guys that I tried is the Diva Cup. I'm not sure if that's what this one is called. I can't really remember, but they're all kind of the same. It's a menstrual cup. And as you can see, it just comes in this little silk baggie and it is this little cup. I really did not like this, but I want you guys to take everything I say with a grain of salt because I know a lot of my friends use this and they all love it. So it is, in the end of the day, a really great sustainable option. So if it works for you, great. But if not, then that's okay. You can find something else. There's a lot of other options these days. And the main reason why I didn't like it is because I found it very uncomfortable. I could just never really forget that it was there, unlike pads and tampons. In the future, to make this better, I think that brands should focus on their sizing. Most brands that sell menstrual cups only have about three, like two to three sizes. And when it comes to this kind of thing, you know, a one size fits all is not realistic. <laughs> uh, it's really funny to say. But at the end of the day, it is a very sustainable way to have your period. And if you are on a zero waste journey, then this is a great option because there's no waste at all. Also in the long run, it saves you money because I can imagine this lasts for an extremely long time. So the next thing that I tried on my sustainable period journey was the brand Grace and Green. And so I have some of their products here. And as you can see, they come in the cutest boxes ever. Very small, compact, perfect to fit into your purse if you're on the go. So they reached out to me in the summertime and I got to try out their whole range, which was amazing. I really did love everything. The good thing about Grace and Green is that all of their boxes are 100% recycled. As you can see, the products are wrapped in what looks like plastic, but it's actually bioplastic. So at the end of the day, all of these are completely biodegradable and compostable, even the pad liner itself. So on the box it says no artificial absorbents, harmful chemicals or fragrances made with certified organic cotton for exceptional comfort and total confidence. So the ones that I have are applicator free but if you do prefer an applicator I believe that a couple months ago they just launched applicator tampons where the applicator is also biodegradable and compostable. So although using these pads and tampons is still creating waste it makes me feel a lot better knowing that it's good for my body and also a lot better for the planet because it's not going to stick around for years to come. Grace and Green do work with a lot of non-profit organizations that help women in developing countries who can't really afford period products. As a brand, they really tick all the boxes when it comes to economic, social, and environmental goals. They definitely hit the triple bottom line. That's always something that I look for when I want to support brands and be more sustainable. So the last sustainable period product that I have most recently tried are period panties. Now Cora Makino is a German brand and they kindly sent me a pair to try out. Yeah, I'm going to tell you guys what I think about them. So this was my first time ever trying period panties. 
So these are them and as you can see they are beautiful. I love the mesh at the side and if you were to see this at the store you know you'd never think that it was a period panty. Also wanted to show you guys the box I kept it so I can um, show you. It's a really beautifully designed brand. Now they do have different design options. I went for the high-waisted because I always wear high-waisted pants and you know, I thought that it might be a bit more comfortable on my period because it's not really pressing down below where I get really bloated. And just for sizing reference, I did go for a medium, which is a size bigger than I usually get because I wanted to make sure that I had enough room because I do get very bloaty on my period. So if you've never heard of period panties before, basically they are a pair of underwear that you wear on your period and you don't have to wear anything else because the liner here, there's some silver technology that absorbs your period blood and then the layer underneath is waterproof so it prevents the blood from leaking out. At the end of the day, it is a much more sustainable way to have your period because you're not producing garbage each month. These panties can absorb up to 30 milliliters of blood, which is approximately equivalent to three normal tampons. And you can also wear them for up to 12 hours. So if you have a long day at work and then you plan on going out after or something like that, you don't even have to think. After you use them, all you have to do is pop them in the laundry machine, 40 degrees, and they are good to go for the next day. So what I did on the first day of trying them, I decided to stay home because I was a little bit nervous. I wasn't too sure if maybe the size was a little bit big. Did try to make sure I was moving a lot, even like relaxing and like lying down just to see if it was going to work well for me. So I went on a long walk. I wore yoga tights. I did some stretching. I also lie down on the couch, watched a movie. I sat down for a while. I did lots of chores. I wore them with jeans. So I really tried everything just to make sure that it was an option for me. I was so surprised as to how comfortable they were and how well they worked. Now at first I kind of thought that maybe it will feel a little bit like a diaper but because this is in like the liner part of your underwear you don't notice it at all. Now the only thing that I do have to say about these menstrual panties is that they are quite expensive and I think that's the reason why I never really got them sooner. Um, so each pair is about 30 euros. I think that these are 100% worth it and if you do have the money I would go for it because in the long run you will save money. Out of all of my sustainable period options I think that these are the most worth it. So I hope you guys liked this video. I think that as women we have to all come together and be aware of the amount of waste that we are creating when we're on our period. There are so many options out there these days so I know that we can all do better and come together and tackle period plastic. <laughs> so if you guys know any um, other sustainable period products, I would love to know about them down below so I can also give them a try. And if you guys have tried any of these products, please let me know what you think down below as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. So in the end, um, whole range which was amazing <laughs>brand they really tick all the boxes when it comes to environmental social and environmental nope 